In this video, I'm going to create two looks for this photo, one more dramatic and one with darker tones. With this said, let's jump into Lightroom. In the dramatic approach, I'm looking to keep the grey tones, probably even add more and desaturate the photo. I'm going to start with a basic panel. I'm going to add exposure since the photo is pretty underexposed. Let's bring some details back in the sky by reducing the highlights. Now let's add some shadows, reduce the whites and the blacks. Also let's add some texture and clarity. In the tone curve I'm going to do a smooth S curve. Also I'm going to lift a bit the blacks and reduce the whites. In the HSL panel, I'm going to desaturate a lot this image, mainly the blues, and, um, and I also want to change the green present in the grass. I'm also desaturating the orange because there is some orange light reflected in the sky. Finally, let's add some luminance in the two major colors. With color grading, I'm going to start by applying blue in the shadows. And I'm going to balance by applying yellow in the mid-tones. Now let's add a vignette. With calibration, we can do an overall adjustment of red, green and blue. So we are going to change the red, green and blue in every pixel of the image. Since I don't want blue to be present, I'm going to reduce the saturation. Now let's do some masking. First, I'm going to add exposure to the pickup. And increase the highlight. Now let's bring some detail in the sky. Using a linear gradient, I'm going to reduce the exposure in the bottom of the image. Finally, I'm going to add a radial gradient to drive our attention to the pickup. This is the before and after. In the second edit, I'm again going to desaturate the colors, but here I'm looking for a dark and blue vibe. So I'm going to start by adjusting the white balance, so more towards the blue. In this case, the exposure needs to go even further down, but in the end, it's going to be balanced. More contrast. This part is similar, comparing with the previous edit. Minus the blacks that in this case will go up. Again I'm going to add clarity. But now I'm going to reduce the vibrance. The tone curve is going to be really similar to the previous one.
I'm just adding some light in the midtones to balance with the exposure. In the HSL panel, I'm just going to change the hue of green. Basically, I want the main color to be blue. Now I'm going to desaturate all the colors. In color calibration, I'm just going to add blue to the four wheels. Of course, with different hues and saturations. The vignette is also similar to the previous one. Now I'm going to do some uh, global color adjustments and calibration. We want a higher presence of blue, so the green will go to the right. And the same goes for blue. Also, I'm going to add some purple in the shadows. I'm going back to the HSL panel because the photo is looking really dark and I want to add some luminance, at least uh, to blue. Also, there is some orange in the sky, so I'm going to add luminance here too. Finally, let's do some masking. First, I'm going to add uh, exposure and uh, increase the highlights in the pickup. Now let's bring back some details in the sky. So select sky. And the highlights are going down, minus 40, ok. And the rest is also pretty similar. I'm going to add a linear gradient in the bottom of the photo and a radial gradient around the pickup. Don't forget to invert the mask. This is the before and after. Here you have the final edits, hope you like the video. And if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Here you have more Lightroom videos, bye!